for more reaction as tributes continue to pour in uh, for the late minister in the presidency. I'm joined now by Business Unity South Africa President uh, Sipo Pikiana. Dr. Pikiana, good evening and thank you very much uh, for your time. You have uh, released a, a heartwarming a statement paying your tribute to Jackson Mtembo. You will, of course, um, remember him, particularly in that difficult time in 2018 uh, when civil society, yourself, were being a at the, 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 the helm of that as well, uh, when uh, he had to stand on principle on the matter of the former president, Jacob Zuma. Well, um, I must extend our heartfelt uh, condolences to his family, his friends and comrades. Um, indeed, this is uh, somebody who has shown tremendously courageous leadership, um, who was clear, decisive, resolute in... Uh, communicating what he stood for. Uh, we, we had uh, um, a clear sense of somebody who is a true patriot in South Africa, who was passionate about the country and passionate about our vision to make a difference. And he rolled up his sleeve and, and fought and fought hard. He died with his boots on. Um, he's shown tremendous commitment in the fight against uh, COVID. Uh, and it is an epitome of uh, how he's conducted himself throughout his uh, his life. Alongside President Sir Ramaphosa, of course, Health Minister Dr. Zuelim Kize, he was certainly uh, one of those familiar faces that we looked forward uh, to seeing on our screens whenever there was a briefing, whenever directions had to be issued uh, as to how to behave during this time of COVID-19. What distinguished uh, Jackson Mtembo for you from the majority of politicians? Well, this was a dedicated minister, hardworking, uh, uh, diligent, accessible, and, and open-minded, and uh, uh, clearly ready to uh, engage uh, with uh, differing views. We found in him, as, particularly as somebody who occupied the role that he did in the, in the presidency, uh, remember that one of the critical responsibilities of the minister in the presidency is policy coordination. And as business, we always uh, would be looking for somebody through whom to engage, uh, promote and sell ideas, uh, contest positions that government may be entertaining, uh, and find a way to interact not just with the president, but also with other ministers. He was always ready to listen, even when sometimes he disagreed. He, he gave as much as, 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 as he took. Um, he was very frank, and, and as you would expect, a lot of those conversations were characterized by uh, sharp differences of opinion, but it, we're always looking forward to engaging with him because he, he, he took no prisoners and he was always candid and frank in his, in his views. You highlight in your tribute statement to Minister Mtembo that he, he was a model of this concept that uh, uh, is now, of course, uh, widely talked about leadership, uh, but not just leadership, leadership with integrity. Absolutely. Um, uh, Minister Mtembu um, didn't take uh, the soft option. He, he knew that he was in a party that had a great vision, uh, that had a great sense of values and commitment, but there were things that were wrong. Uh, and he was open to those amongst us in the party who were critical and, and took uh, public positions around that, even when sometimes he disagreed with our tactics. Uh, but he openly engaged. Sim he took a similar approach with, uh, with uh, uh, other, other social partners. Uh, he was always on the president's side in NEDLEC engagements, uh, discussing difficult issues on how we take and progress our economy, how we ensure that uh, we have a trajectory of economic development that takes care of the most marginalized to ensure that our development trajectory is not one that reinforces uh, inequalities and divisions in society. This was a very principled and loyal soldier to our uh, uh, constitutional vision of an, an equitable society. President of Business Unity South Africa, Sipo Pikian, we appreciate your time and your thoughts uh, this evening here on the Newsfeed Late.